What is going on everyone? We have a huge mystery unboxing tonight from Pure Fishing. This is Berkeley, Abu Garcia, some stuff to get me prepped for a trip I'm taking next week down to Tennessee to fish on Lake Chickamauga with Alex and Mr. Caleb Bell from Bass Quest. Super, super stoked. There's some baits in here that I need for that trip. Maybe there are some reels. I'm not entirely sure what's in this box. Totally mystery package for my boys over at Pure Fishing, boys and girls and ladies. Now, just a quick reminder, if you guys haven't already signed up for the May 8th, Lake St. Clair meetup. Go down there in the comment section in the description. Click the link to sign up as a boater or non-boater. Get in for that event. It's going to be a lot of fun. Some Berkeley giveaways, some rods, some other really cool prizes are going to be given away. It's $10 per guy and it's going to be a lot of fun. So go down there, sign up for that event May 8th. It's going to cut off on April 23rd. So get in your signups as quickly as possible so we can have that thing ready to go. Without further ado, let's kind of dive into the box. And when I say I have no idea what's in here, zero clue, no idea. Um, Nathan reached out to me and he said he wants to send me some stuff. And so here we are. Okay, so first thing out of the box, this is this brand new Abu Garcia sun shirt. I really like these sun shirts. I always wear a long sleeve pretty much all summer long. So that sun shirt's gonna get a lot of use this year. Um, as you guys know, I'm running Abu Garcia reels. Abu Garcia sun shirt, it's pretty sweet. Abu Garcia on the front, big, big Abu Garcia on the back. And I'm stoked to be running those reels this season on my TFO rods. One of my favorite reels from last year was the Abu Garcia Zeta spinning reel. So they sent me two more Zeta spinning reels, sort of a moderate price point. Um, and it's a really ultra high performing reel, super high end drag system, very, very smooth, high speed gear ratio, six, two to one, really nice color in that army green with red accent looks really good. Super stoked on that two Abu Garcia Zeta reels which I need to kind of get ready for the season because the season's here. I'm ready to get this thing spooled up and go catch some big fish. Next thing I'm about to pull out of this box are some Jordan Lee Champ Swimmers. Nathan did mention these on the phone the other day and I sort of asked him what the deal was with these because I've seen a ton about the hollow bellies. I've seen a ton about the power swimmers, but the Champ Swimmer really hasn't gotten the love that I think maybe it was expected it would get. And what Nathan told me is that this bait has a super, super hard roll. So he sent me some of these HD perch champ swimmers. And if you guys can see, it has a flat back, sort of a uh, hull shaped belly where it's sort of curved in. That's gonna let this bait roll really wide. So he said you can rig it on a jig head. It has a belly slot if you wanna rig it on a screw lock hook, but it's got a really, really, really wide wobble, which is something I'm super stoked on. Now the smallmouth lake that I'm going to has a ton of perch, ton of perch forage. I have a really cool opportunity coming up to go fish Lake St. Clair. Um, and obviously that Lake St. Clair event, I'll have one of these probably tied on if I don't have a hollow belly tied on. So really, really cool alternative to some of those other swim baits on the market and having that HD true printed on there is really cool. Plus it's in power bait. Power bait's my favorite scent just overall. I love it. And so it should be a pretty cool bait to throw around and kind of get to play with because the Champ Swimmers is a bait I've never thrown before. Another bait that I've looked at a ton, and this might actually be a little bit new, is this Champ Minnow. The Champ Minnow is a bait I've never played with. The flatworm gets a ton of attention, and these other drop shot baits get so much attention that I've never really played with these baits or fished with them. So what this Champ Minnow is, it's also HD true printed with a round goby on it, so goby imitation, and it looks really nice. I'm assuming you just nose hook this thing, drop drop shot it down there. It smells like power bait. It's probably gonna catch some fish. It's a really, really nice size, three and a half inches. It looks really nice, man. I wanted to fish these, I wanted to get some, but it's one of those things like when you have confidence in a bait, when you have confidence in something, like you just don't really stray from it that much. This is a cool profile bait that I think I'm gonna get a lot of really, really good use out of this year, especially when those fish start to get on gobies. So the Champ Minnow, three and a half inches in size, and that goby color is really, really sweet. Okay, another champ swimmer. Now this color here is in a shad style color, or it's a blue back herring, but it looks a lot like the shad that we have around here, like that grayish blue back, a little bit of chartreuse stripe down the side. This is gonna be for my Chickamauga trip. So the big deal on Chickamauga is those fish get on a shad spawn bite, or they get on a shad bite right before they get up on beds and right after they get up on beds. So one of the baits that Caleb told me to bring was some swim baits, so Nathan sent these along. Yes, it's blue bag herring. It's not like the identical bait to like a threadfin shad or a gizzard shad, 
but it has that shad imitation sort of color, has that really wide wobble. I can rig this thing on a belly weighted swim bait hook, cast it up kind of around those shallow lay downs where those fish are probably gonna be spawning or getting close to spawn, hopefully catch some fish. Another bait most of you guys have probably seen is the Berkeley Chapo. Berkeley Chapo is a really, really popular bait. I work at Frank's and this bait, we sell about 9 million of a year. We sell so many of these baits and the reason for that is it flat out catches fish. Unlike other plopper style baits, it has a really hard tail. So instead of like a plop, 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 plop sort of sound because that tail has flex to it, this is a hard tail. And so what it sounds like is very hard sounding. It's like chop, 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 as opposed to that plopper sound that you get out of the other style plopper baits on the market. But really cool bait. Again, this is for Chickamauga. Going to get around that shallow lay downs, that shallow cover where those fish are going to be getting ready to spawn feeding up on shad and that chapo is gonna play a big role on there. Now a pack of chigger craws. And if you guys saw my video on my favorite craw style bait, you guys know I love the chigger craw. I'm not gonna pull this out of the package. I just got done changing my oil and I don't wanna get my oil scent all over these baits. But the chigger craw is one of my favorite craw style trailers. Really, really, really effective bait to put on the back of a jig. It's what I had on the back of the jig when I went out and crushed them with Nathan and Trent. And this is in the goat color. The goat color is one of the brand new colors in the Ike series. Um, what the Ike series is, is basically a couple of Ike custom colors. And the goat is your green pumpkin with black and blue kind of swirl mixed into it. Really, really cool color. Super versatile. You can fish it on the back of a green pumpkin jig, black and blue jig, whatever color jig you're throwing on. This bait is going to be kind of the perfect all around jig trailer. Black and blue, green pumpkin, two of the best colors ever. All mixed into one bait. Clean water, dirty water, just all around really good color in the four inch chigger craw. I'm super stoked on that. that. That chigger craw really is the deal. If you guys have never fished one, buy a pack, buy two packs, buy 10 packs, go and fish it. You're gonna catch a bunch of fish, Texas rig, shaky head, on the back of a jig. It's just a really effective craw style bait that you guys are gonna catch a bunch of fish on. And now we're getting into the banned baits. We're getting into the baits that have been banned as of April Fool's Day on the MLF tour. And Maxent is what we're talking about here. So the first pack here is the Power Chunk. The Power Chunk is a really good cooler water style bait. Gives your bait a gliding action. Um, it's not something I've had a ton of experience with, but I know it works. Alex has been fishing chunks all spring long. Nathan, Trent have been fishing chunks. They're trying to like convince me that it's a really effective trailer. And to me, it's just one of those things I have to get out there and throw when they're eating it because I know it works. I, I've seen it work. I've got my eyes beat in by it. And so I just have to get it kind of tied on and build the confidence with the chunk trailer. And now we have a pack of generals. I'm gonna to try to keep this all together. The general is Berkeley's version of the stick worm. So they sent me three packs of five inch stick worms, I do believe. Five inch baby bass, three packs. Really, really cool color. I'm gonna pull one of these out to show you guys. But it's sort of a light watermelon with a little bit of black and silver gold flake. Really cool color. Max scent scent, which is really not that much, but it catches a ton of fish. Um, muted colors, which is another big player. The scent, everyone talks about the scent. I'm a big color guy, and I'm a big guy that believes in muted colors, especially when the situation is tough. You're fishing around cleaner water, pressured fish. Those muted colors just look way more natural. And so having those muted colors like that in the Max scent lineup is really, really important for me. And I think it's just as important as big of a factor in catching fish as the scent is. We also got a couple packs of the flat nose minnow. Flat nose minnow is a very overlooked drop shot bait. A lot of people don't think about it. And so guys, if you have been sleeping on this bait, the flat nose minnow is the absolute deal. Don't sleep on it. Please trust me, the flat nose minnow will not be around very long. Whether you're drop shotting, whether you're rigging it on the back of a shaky head, or excuse me, a net head. It's just a really effective minnow style profile bait to go on the back of a drop shot on a net head, drag it along the bottom. It catches big fish regardless of what you do. And again, it's in that max scent, sort of muted color tones, really good scent profile, and it catches a lot of really big fish. And now we're gonna be diving into a very unique bait I don't think a lot of people talk about, which is the critter hog. I actually just bought a couple packs of critter hogs because especially around the spawn when you're largemouth fishing, lizard-esque style baits, these creature style baits that look more lizard-esque, tend to be really effective. I don't know if it's because there's lizards in the water. I don't know what the reason for it is, but you rig this on a Texas rig, rig it on a little Carolina rig, drag it around, 
when fish are getting ready to spawn and you can catch a lot of big fish on it. This is in a watermelon or green pumpkin red color. Watermelon red. Muted color palette. Again, again, I'm going to keep mentioning that. It's important in the critter hog. Really cool looking little bait. If you guys have never thrown it and you're looking for a unique shape in the max scent lineup, that critter hog is really, really unique. And finally, this is a bait that I've wanted to throw for a long time. And this is a bait that you're going to see on my channel a lot this year as I get more into largemouth fishing is the Magnum Hitworm. I'm going to sort of throw out a little, uh, I guess, hot take here. The Hitworm is truly my favorite max scent shape. The hitworm over the flatworm is the deal. If you guys aren't fishing the hitworm, bite off just a tiny section. You can drop shot it. You can use it on a shaky head. You can rig it as a Nico rig. You can wacky rig it. The hitworm really is probably the most versatile shape in the, in the max scent lineup. To me, it's one of my favorite shapes in the max scent lineup. So the Magnum hitworm is just a little bit longer in seven inch size. It's a bigger bait, a little bit bigger profile, but for large mouth that are hanging out deep. You can take this thing, you can do a variety of different things with this. You don't just have to throw it on a big Texas rig, put a Nico hook in there, throw this thing around, and now you have a max scent bait on a Nico rig. You can rig it on a Carolina rig. Really good colors, really good scent, really good bait. The Magnum Hitworm is going to be the deal. You guys are going to see it a ton. You're going to see the regular Hitworm, and I'm kind of letting it out of the bag now. The hitworm is better than the flatworm, way more versatile. You can do so many more things with it and it catches just as many, if not more fish for me than the flatworm does. The flatworm, I think, gets so much hype because these guys are using it in these big small mouth tournaments. And yes, it's super effective, but the, the hitworm really, really, really is more versatile. Go try it. Try it on a drop shot. Try it on a shaky head. You can fish it for large mouth on a drop shot. So much more versatile. Try the hitworm. It's a very, very, very good underrated bait that I think a lot of guys are missing out on. And that is it. That's what's in this box. And uh, not, not that's it. That's a ton of stuff. But I'm super stoked to share that with you guys. If you guys have any questions or comments about any of the stuff in this video, from the Zeta reel, which is one of my favorite spinning reels over the last year, to any of the baits that I showed off, hit me up in the comment section down below. Super stoked to interact with you guys. We're growing this channel fast. You guys love this stuff. So hit me up in the comment section. Let's talk. Let's grow this channel, grow this community, and I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for just following along with the channel and uh, being invested in who we are here as a community. So thanks for watching guys. Take care, Taylor Lance. God bless. Pursue passion.